Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this X2 X Drive 25E M Sport. This car is finished off in Misano Blue Metallic and is a brand new unregistered vehicle. Also, being the 25E, this is the fantastic hybrid system on this X2. That's got the 1.5 petrol engine at the front and the electric motor for the rear. We've got a 95 PS electric motor at the rear, set power on the rear wheels, and then with the 1.5 125 PS petrol engine power in the front wheels, also gives a fantastic combined power of 220, which can be used together. So that means that can accelerate the car up to 62 miles an hour in under seven seconds. Um, fantastic system to use, um, and also works in conjunction. You can have a full X drive system, so full four drive system, those two systems working in harmony. So lots of benefit from the hybrid, but today let's talk about some of the options and specification chosen for this particular car. On well, the front we've got the adaptive LED headlights as standard, we've got the icon corona ring there as well, real nice to see the front end. Moving around to the 19 inch M double spoke alloy wheel and we've got this bicolour finish, we've got this diamond cut front face and that great inlay when it makes the wheels pop and stand out and a nice works really nice against the Masana blue paint finish as well. Also additional US uh, additional port there, that's for the charging, for the electric battery, charging port there. Moving around, being the M Sport, got the lovely high gloss shadow line finish to the window surrounds. It's a very sleek appearance to the side of the vehicle. Moving around to the boot, power tailgate as standard on the X2. Uh, you can operate that by the key, by the Randall badge. There's also a button by the driver's door as well. Handy 40 20 40 split folding rear seats there, standard. Nice decent low capacity. Underneath here, we've also got a handy storage area as well where we've got the two charge cables fly to the vehicle, a public charge cable there on the left, and the occasional use home charger there on the right, the free pin socket one. A bit of extra storage as well, so you can keep a few more items underneath there. For instance, we've got the first aid kit. Oh, very handy just to keep your charge cables at hand. Moving around to the back of the vehicle. This car's finished off with a black coat of leather with a lovely blue contrast stitch, which I'll run you through now. Also well, got this lovely perforated finish as well to the inner part of the main four seats. And you can see that contrast stitching there, blue stitching on the headrests. That also nicely ties in as well. We've got the blue finisher as well on the door card there. That's an all four door cards, one through the centre trim as well, so it just really nicely ties in the interior. Rear passengers also benefit from some ventilation controls there and two, two USB charge points. Moving into the front of the car, some lovely options selected inside, which we'll go through with you now. As I mentioned, that's the Estra Blue Highlander there. Underneath the aluminium trim piece finish, you've got the lovely ambient lighting as well, interior lighting on the door card, window controls, as I mentioned before, we've got the boot opener there and also the petrol release. So one of the options this car's had selected, we've got the full electric memory seats, that two-stage function on the drivers, electric on the passenger front uh, seat, but not on memory function. Uh, handy with the two stages, you can actually preset that to two different keys, so you've got two different people using the same car, open the car with your key and that will remember your seating position. Lumber sport as well with those, as well as side bolster sport on these Ember sport seats. Fantastically comfortable, lots of adjustment on them. And again, that lovely stitching running through. Stepping into the car. We've got the beautiful black backlit LED dashboard. Almost looks digital in its sort of clarity and its crispness, but it's still analog. Just a fantastic backlink system. We have got this lower section here, which is LCD, which can display different bits of information. One car option this car does have, which sort of trumps the lower half of that LCD panel, is it's got the head-up display. As I pan up now, let's get that into focus. There we go. So this is where the car will project information onto the windscreen. At the moment, we've obviously got the speed there on the right and the speed limit display on the left. Speed limit display is a great little system that will work in conjunction with the sat-nav 
as well as a camera in the rearview mirror reading road signs giving you the accurate information about what's going on the road in terms of speed limits and restrictions and then with the head-up display as and when the car needs to tell you bits of information it will do so by projecting that on the windscreen so incoming calls you get notification on the windscreen turn by turn navigational information all projected on there keeps your eyes focused on the road much safer and a lot less time in long journeys not have to look down or look at different displays and refocus so it is a fantastic system to have on this a fantastic option to have on this car moving across we've got the uprated uh, navigation plus system so this is a much larger touchscreen system we've got the id6 operating system it's got these live tiles here so these can be changed and altered to give various different bits of information um customized to get the card to give you the information that you want to see as you can see there it's all full touchscreen as well we also do have voice activation and a very much tried and tested bmw iDrive dial as well moving down we've got some of the audio controls there volume control cd player choose on climate control the heater front seats all standard and a little storage space there with an additional usb charge point next to the cup holders So running the automatic gearbox being part of the hybrid system so those two systems work in conjunction and a very slick system you very rarely know when what is doing what other than looking at the display so it's very hard to tell when the engine's working or the electric's working um it's yeah, a very clever system indeed in the central armrest here i'm going to pan around that's here we've also got the wireless charging pad there we go so you can pop your phone into this little pad and that wireless charge and that's also got the enhanced bluetooth as well so much better connectivity between your mobile device and the vehicle We've also got the park assistant functionality, so I'll pop, pop the card to reverse there. There we go, we've got the front of your park sensors and the park assistant, so the park assistant will help you parallel park, look for car park spaces, and assist you in different manoeuvres as well. Finishing off, can't see the button because it's just hidden down here. Oops, just. that's the radio kicking in. Um, we've also got the heated steering wheel, so if I just push the button there, you can see the bottom right steam wheel heating activation so just underneath the indicator stalk this car's also got the heated steam wheel functionality fish on the steering wheel got cruise control here speed limit control audio options here on the right hand side with the voice activation phone answering the, uh, as mentioned before i've got the high beam assistance button there part of the adaptive headlights so that's the system where it will automatically raise and lower the high beam um, whether you're approaching traffic or you've got cars approaching you so it don't dazzle oncoming road users Beautiful looking car, the X2 and the Masana Blue. I do really like this paint finish. It's one of the launch colours when the X2 was originally launched. I think it really does suit the shape and the characteristics of the car extremely well. Anyway, I hope this video has been of use. If there's anything further we can do to help, please do get in contact. One of our sales executives will be more than happy to help.